Keep well, making it happen, and speaking of making it happen, let's hop right into making it happen with Bradford, ladies and gentlemen. Folks, we have breaking news in the making it happen with Bradford segment. This is breaking news as of today. Still no updates. Well, it's breaking news, but I don't have any further updates. I had a message this morning from, from my brother that Chris, my brother Chris, He's a beautiful person. Okay. He's a beautiful person. I like how you sneak beautiful person into every episode. I do. I like that term because some people think it's uh, like, well, you're just saying I'm nice, but I'm really ugly. But no, he's a beautiful person. But anyways, long story short, let's get right to it. Text that I, well, I got this morning when I woke up, but it, it was sent like in the middle of the night, which I thought he was drunk. What is happening with your brother? <laughs> Enough of the press. Listen, folks, he and my sister-in-law, well, my sister-in-law, she is in labor as we speak. She is ready. She's ready to go. They went to the hospital last night. The epidural. Yes. More. Yeah. More. Give me an epi. More. Give me an epi. More. So I am going to be a first-time uncle real oh, soon. Wow. I'm going to teach that kid so many bad words as soon as it's born, it's going to be hysterical. It'll be a lot of Lancelot's talk, I'm sure. Exactly. But you know what's funny is, you know, when you're in the delivery room, I think, you know, all of that song when you sing on New Year's Eve, Old Lang Syne, mm -hmm. For Old Acquaintance. Mm -hmm. they I never just, know the words. I just kind of hum just kinda them. Just I think they should sing that in the delivery room once a baby is born. Or there should be some sort of standard song to be sung while you're in the delivery room. That's only you. I'm oh, sure the woman in labor would really appreciate that, too. Well, you know, she's going to be all, like, hyped up on uh, epidurals. So more. She, more. Right. More. Give me more. more. Give me more. Give more. it to me more. Give it to me more. So, <laughs> any moment, I'm going to be an uncle. We don't know if it's a boy, a girl, a dog, a cat. It could be anything, folks. It could be anything. Stay tuned to Brad and Scotty to find out when Brad becomes an uncle. Yes, because I will. Uh, we'll bring the baby in as a special guest. Oh, that would be as nice. A special guest. That's going to be that phenomenal. Would be, that would actually be really sentimental. So that's going to be the first I'd thing. I'd enjoy that. Yeah. Also, in making it happen, Super Eight is out in oh theaters. My God. It's also in the drive-in. Yes. I believe it's you know it's getting great reviews, and in yes. the drive-in, it's paired with uh, Water for Elephants, based on a really good book. And speaking of water. Have you heard what's going on in Weirton? It has been unbelievable that this entire city of Weirton is without water. Without, it's, like, it's like we're going back. To, it's like a disaster over there. I can't even imagine. It's like a ghost town over there. It is awful. I mean, you know, to the residents of Weirton, hang in there, folks. Water is coming back. It's coming back in full effect. But it's been so. Yeah, 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 I understand you had some tough work to do at the hotel. Yeah, and we they basically uh, had you uh, well, shoveling buckets of pool water yeah, thank so God. that people could poo. Yes, because I was taking pool water and I was using sales it. manager, baby. Well, you know what? Hey, I do what I can. I just try to get in. He's where making I it happen. So I you make can it poo. happen. So I make you can poo. poo. Yes, because uh, because hotels. Are a business, and I'm just trying to make it happen, folks. I'm trying to do what I can. I'm trying to take care of the guests that we have staying there. Hey, I'd appreciate it. Well, you know what I mean. You know, so we had buckets, but it's been a disaster. But so the the water should be coming back on. Check out Super Eight in all the movie theaters and at the drive-in and everything. And uh, also, in making it happen, I do want to I want to plug our good friend Ralph Parisi. Um, at uh, Lancelot's in Wintersville. He's a great guy. He's getting two plugs today. That's did we already plug him? Yes, we did, but that's okay. Serious? That's that's all right. We mentioned him earlier. What? Right. During the fan of the week. Where were you? <laughs> Heavy drinking affects the memory. We appreciate what you do on Friday nights. It's yes. excellent. We always have a great time, even when some girl is dancing on a chair and gets sexual comments made her way. Yes. It's yeah. whatever, like it's nothing. Exactly. We really appreciate what you do Folks, out there. Folks, 10 o'clock on Fridays. Check out Ralph at Lancelot's. It's a great time. Great people. We Good sing time. I Swear every week. It's it's it's. Some bang. people like it, some bang. people don't. So, so we talked about the uh, everything. I was under the impression that everybody liked it. <laughs> But anyways, last thing I'm making it happen, make sure you check out the 4th of July concert. Actually, it's on the 3rd of July, I think. Little Big Town, Josh Thompson, and some other guy down at Harding Stadium. There's a country concert at Harding Stadium. Go there, enjoy it, it if you like that kind of thing. It's going to be a beautiful show. Right. Yeah. Uh, so the city of Weirton, those, those residents were, were, were really upset. i got to tell you. The city of Weirton in that day, my friends, it was like an old man trying to return soup at a deli. Uh, I don't know. Good stuff. Yeah, it was good stuff. Are we not going to do it? I don't know. Yeah, because it's kind of... You blew it. it. You totally forgot about I, I it. I blew it. You, well, I, you I, I the city you were in. You should have brought up how they were angry. And then I would have went right into the Seinfeld moment. 
Normally, folks, this would be a Seinfeld moment. But right? he blew it. I didn't blow it. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. We're going to do the whole thing. Folks, if you remember the Seinfeld show where George pulls out the golf ball from his jacket. So I pulled out the obstruction. And there it was. Is that a title list? Right. So that was the segment, but apparently I botched it. So anyways. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's I thought we were okay. okay. I was okay. getting ready to transition into it. It's fine.